Thanks for joining me. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to customize your Google Classroom banner, as well as the banner at the top of your teacher webpage and Google Sites. Now, there are a couple of options that you can choose from right away that Google gives you inside Classroom and in Google Sites, but you can also customize your own banner using Google Drawings, which is what we're going to do today. So first of all, if you're inside Google Classroom, if you look at the bottom right of your header, you have an option to select a theme or upload a photo. Now, if you select theme, you can choose from any of the themes that they give you here just by clicking on the theme and then choosing set class theme. But if you want to add a little bit of your own message or just create something a little bit more personalized for your classroom, you can always click upload photo. Likewise, on Google Sites, you have the option to change the image on your header at the top of your Google Sites homepage anytime that you want, just by clicking Upload or Select Image. Now, we're gonna come back to this in just a second and take a look at that, but we're gonna start by going into Google Drawings and setting up our banner. There's two ways to get to Google Drawings. You can go to drawings.google.com or from inside Google Drive, you can click New, More, and then Google Drawings. Once Google Drawings opens, it will look something like this, but it may not look exactly like the dimensions that I've got here. That's because I've already preset my drawing to the dimensions that I need for my Google Classroom. Now, the dimensions that I've set up here are 1,000 pixels by 250 pixels. If you want to change this, you can always click and drag at the bottom right to resize your dimensions of your Google Drawing, but I've found that it's much better to go to the File menu and go down to the bottom where it says Page Setup. Once you're inside Page Setup, you will usually end up on the standard four to three ratio, but you can choose Custom and change it to pixels or inches, depending on what you want. I usually choose pixels, and I set this one to 1000 by 250 pixels. The first number is always the width, and the second number is always your height, so keep that in mind as you put your numbers in. Once you're ready, click Apply, and it will apply those settings to your banner. Consequently, that is the exact size that you need to fit the header or the theme at the top of your stream on Google Classroom. Now, once you've got that set up, you've got a couple of options here. You can, first of all, set up your background by right-clicking on your drawing and choosing Background. From here, you can choose a solid color or you can choose a gradient. Now, since the text at the front of the theme will stick out and cause the background to darken, I'm gonna choose something a little bright so that it's easy to see. So I'm gonna choose this yellow color. And then I'm gonna add a little message on here because I'm gonna use this banner as a back to school item. Now, remember, because you have this option to upload a photo, you can change this anytime that you want to. You can change it daily or weekly or monthly, depending on what unit you're covering in your classroom. So you can also alter the message that you're putting out there. Now keep in mind as well, because on your theme, you have the title of your class up at the top right and you have these options down here, you might want to limit the size of the text box so it doesn't interfere with those items. So I'm gonna push this to the right a little bit and I'm gonna put in a welcome message. And once you've got your message in there, you can highlight that message and use the font toolbar at the top to change your font. And remember, anytime you want to choose a new font, if you don't see it here, you can always click more fonts and choose some of the newer fonts that are available to you. Once you find the font that you want, you just click on it. And once you see that check mark in front of it, it becomes an available font in your list. But I'm gonna to choose to use this font here and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so it stands out on the page. And then I'm gonna add a little picture here just to add something a little bit more personalized. If you're looking for something to personalize your classroom, you can always use Bitmoji. I happen to have the Bitmoji extension on my Google Chrome. And if you're not familiar with Bitmoji, 
It is an emoticon tool that allows you to create an emoji that looks like you. And from the extension, I can just type in a search for the type of message that I want to convey and find the Bitmoji that fits. So I'm going to grab this one and all I have to do here is right click on it, click copy image, and then I can come back to my drawing, right click and paste. Okay, so now I have my message. I have a little bit of a, of a personalized graphic there for my classroom. And now I'm ready to download this image to use it on my classroom. When you're ready to download, click the file menu, go to download and choose ping. I'll usually use a ping file because ping files usually show up a little bit better on websites and web-based applications. From here, I see it's downloaded to my browser. I'll go back to my classroom and now I'm ready to upload. At the bottom right of the theme, I'll click upload photo and then I can either select a photo from my computer or from the bottom of my browser, since it's in the download bar, I can just drag it and drop it into the upload dialog box. Once ready, it asks me if I need to crop this image. If this is what you want, you can leave it, but obviously I wanna take advantage of the entire sizing that I've set up inside Google Drawings. So I'll push these borders out to the edge and then click select class theme. And so now you can see my image has been uploaded and now you kind of see why I chose a bit brighter background because it does get adjusted a little bit to allow for the white font at the top of the theme. But in any case, you can change this out anytime you want to just by going back, changing up your message here in your Google drawing, downloading the new updated drawing and then uploading it back to classroom. Now, if you'd like to use the same image in a Google site, when you're on your Google site, you may notice that you can change your header type. If you click on header type, you have an option of a cover, which allows you a lot more ability to leave messages and graphics that lead students to different areas of your site, a large banner or a standard banner. Now, in this case, I'm going to use a standard banner. So if I go back to my Google drawing, remember, you don't have to just limit yourself to what I've done here. Since I can actually get rid of this text box on my banner, anything that I put in this graphic will show up at the top of the screen. So from here, I can condense this message and move it over to the left. And I can change the font size and reduce it a little bit, but also allow for an additional message to show up on the right. Now, if you want a different color block to do that, go click on your shapes icon and choose a shape and then just draw the shape to the dimensions of the remainder of the box that you have on the right. And then I can double click inside the shape to type in it. I'm going to drop a message inside here. So I've got my message and now I'm going to go find a graphic to put with that message. Now I've got a little bit of a banner here. Obviously, you might want to pick something that doesn't have a white background, but for the case of the video, I'm just throwing something in there quickly. When I'm ready, I click File, Download, as we did before, and choose Ping. Go back to Google Sites, and here is my drawing. So when I click Change Image and click Upload, I can find my item that I downloaded in my Downloads folder and it will be applied. Now you can see here, the dimensions are a little bit different for Google Sites than they are for Google Drawings. So you're gonna to have to make some adjustments here. But before you do, let's preview the site to see how it looks. At the top of any Google site, you can click on this preview icon and it shows you what the site would look like on a standard screen. If you look at this little floating toolbar at the bottom, you can also see how the image would look on a tablet or on a mobile device. Now, if you plan for most of your students to view this on a Chromebook in your classroom and your banner fits on the standard Chromebook screen, you're fine. If not, you might want to go back and make some adjustments here to your original image before you upload it here. In any case, this gives you an idea of how you can create your own banner to go to the top of your Google Classroom or at the top of any Google site.
If you have questions, please check my website at www.techiecoach.com and we'll see you next time.